All right, so we got the heads all taped off. Uh, just finished cleaning them. I just cleaned them with acetone. And pretty much ready to spray here. This is the stuff we're using. It's a Cree coat 186, C186, sorry, piston coat. Uh, I think the C stuff is just uh, air dry ceramic coating that we're going to put on, see how they turn out. All right. Okay, I got the coating all on. I got uh, two coats on it. Just playing the waiting game now. Um, I think it's 24 hours for it to uh, to be able to handle the stuff. And I think it's a week to fully cure, so... Maybe ready for the weekend I can start messing around with some other stuff. I gotta drill the cylinder heads for the uh, new header flanges. So I gotta get that done before I put them on. Anyway, just so you know how much of this stuff I actually used, I thought it was kind of interesting, was... Like, I don't know if you can see in there or not, but I don't even think I used a quarter of this bottle. So, if you're ordering the stuff, I mean, you really don't need very much. When I ordered the bacon stuff, I ordered the bigger bottle, and, it, like, I barely touched how much was in there. So, I got tons of it. Anyway, we'll check back on these in a bit. Okay, it's been probably 24 hours or so since uh, I sprayed the heads. Just checking up on them. I got one untaped. Just checking it out quick. Uh, they turned out pretty decent. Uh, you can see it's got a pretty decent uh, tape line there where I had them taped off. So, oh, well, looks pretty good to me anyway. One thing I did notice when I was taping them was on the intake port. If you can see that light there, there's actually a small hole in the port uh, right where the head bolt passage is. So that's something I got to look at. But anyway, stay tuned for that. So I'm out here today. And I'm drilling the cylinder heads to accept the new header flanges that I got. So I can run the bigger tube headers. I got the old header here so you can kind of see why I'm doing that. Um, like I say, these are inch and seven eighths. So you can see how close the bolt hole is to the header tube, especially on the center ports. It just makes it really hard to get the header bolt in and out. So, hence the new header flanges with the new pattern. Well, you can see it kind of moves it way out and puts it out of the way. So what I did was I just centered up the flanges on the heads. Um, AFR offers these heads with either pattern, so I'm kind of guessing that I can drill them. Uh, I don't think they'd make two separate castings. You can kind of see right between the springs there, there's a big bump uh, where it looks like they have added material for this particular pattern so I should be pretty good I'm just gonna transfer punch them um, kinda made that to hold it nice and square get a nice centered hole then I got this block that's the exact size I need so I'm gonna clamp that down nice and tight and drill them and tap them and uh, we should be good keep your fingers crossed Okay, I got the heads drilled and tapped for the new flanges. I'm just working on right now, matching the ports up a little bit better for the new headers. Uh, I'm not opening them right up because if I ever want to put the old headers back on, um, the gaskets aren't going to cover these ports anymore. So this is what I can get away with. Uh, I've raised the top up, I went 80 thou, and then one wall on each of these uh, ports on these heads is actually tapered inward towards the center of the port. So I've pulled that over and straightened it out. And that's all I'm gonna do to uh, to these things. These things already flow pretty good, so just gonna make them a little bit better, hopefully. Uh, other than that, 
I got some tubing. I'm going to sleeve those bolt holes, the head bolt holes that are uh, looking into the intake runner. And that's it. They'll be ready to put back on. Okay, I'm just getting ready to fix the head bolt holes. Uh, there's two of them. There's one on each cylinder head I got to do. What I've got is I got half inch OD brass tubing. Uh, it's 14 thou wall thickness, so it's pretty thin. And I just cut it up basically into sleeves for those two holes. I had to ream the holes out uh, to get them to size for the tubing. Uh, so I've got a few thou press fit on it. Plus I've got, I'm gonna put sleeve retainer compound on it as well. And yeah, I'm gonna press them in. Let's press them in and see what happens. Okay, I just cleaned it up quick, but you can see the sleeve and the hole. Everything went pretty good. Probably didn't need that retaining compound. It was pretty snug, but that's okay. A little bit of insurance. If you look on the inside, uh, I really didn't disturb it any more than it already was. Uh, I might just hit it quick with a sand roll. Looks like there might be a piece or two kind of just sticking out. And then other than that, ready to bolt these things back on. And we'll move on to something else. Uh, I might mount that vacuum pump before I get the uh, put the engine back in the car, but uh, might tackle that next. Stay tuned.